Hello again. I am Bane and I am on another adventure. Today I am in Farmersville, Texas, which is northeast of Dallas, and I am attempting to bike the Northeast Texas Trail. It's a rail trail running from Farmersville to New Boston. It's about 130 miles, but it's not finished. I don't know what the condition of the trail really is. There's not a lot of information. I'm told it's about half finished. The first section and the last section of the trail is supposed to be pretty rough. So it's the original trail bed of the train. It's gonna be muddy and sloppy. Uh, it's raining now. It, there was a bad storm that just went through. I don't know if I can even make it. My attempt is to finish the trail tomorrow. So I'm bike packing. Uh, the trail is not suitable for my touring bike. So I have the old mountain bike out and we're just gonna see what we get into. Follow along. I have officially started the Northeast Texas Trail. Starts off asphalt. But I don't think it lasts very long. And today, it's kind of flooded. A storm literally just rolled through. There's still tornado watch going on. Shuttle driver just dropped me off hung out for a second, the storm passed over and lightning just stopped. I'm pretty excited and I'm nervous because this is an unfinished trail and a lot of it is the original rail bed. Everybody told me not to do it after it rained or during the raining season because there's going to be a lot of muddy ruts but i'd already had the trip planned so i was just doing it my son had a uh, vex robotics tournament in dallas this weekend so i was in town for that and i thought might as well see what there is to do in the area. So I Googled and found the Northeast Texas Trail and decided I would come and do it before I found out the trail's not really finished. So the first section, the first couple miles is so far concrete and asphalt, but from my research, basically, it looks like the first 20 miles and the last 20 miles are basically not finished. And about 50 miles in the center is done. I know there's gonna be some sections that are impassable that I'm gonna to have to hit the pavement and ride the road on. I got notes, I'm not 100% sure what areas are, are good. Like and subscribe and follow along. Let's see what this trail consists of.
first two and a half miles was a little bit of asphalt and concrete, mainly concrete. The concrete's really nice. Asphalt's a little rooted up, but not bad. And then it turns into some type of crushed stone. Trail is currently flooded in a lot of places, but to be fair, it's a massive storm. I drove through it coming out of Dallas this morning, headed to New Boston for about an hour and a half, and it was bad. I watched someone hydroplane and spin like 360 degrees on the interstate, luckily the other side. So it makes sense that the trail's flooded, but I will keep track of the condition as much as I can. My goal is to make it to Paris today, which is around mile 60. When I'm done, I gotta drive back to Ohio. It'll be about 12 hours. It is definitely adventure time. It looks like it's way flooded up here. And that is the end of the crushed stone, about five miles. Slow moving. I'm not quite 10 miles in yet. First five miles, real nice. And then it turns into gravel and mud, both of which are super soft due to all the rain today. I am a mess already, which I knew I would be. So the first five miles is mainly concrete. The next five, mud and gravel. On a dry day, probably pretty nice. I'm about 13 and a half miles in today. I just hit the town of Celeste. It is the first place you come to where there's anything at. 
there's an Exxon gas station here where I stopped and I was able to spray the bike off some. Uh, it's muddy. I wasn't really able to shift as bad. So I sprayed the bike off and I had a snack. I'm hitting the trail again. Uh, yeah, so far so good. It's slow. Well, lesson learned. I got off the trail because I needed a boat to stay on it. Tried to get off the asphalt on a gravel road. It was a bad idea. So I got to a section on the gravel road where it said pavement ends. And I was like, what pavement? And what it should have said is gravel ends. And I thought I could ride through it. And I ended up with I don't know how much mud caked on my tires, but I couldn't, I couldn't pedal and it was so heavy I couldn't carry it. So I was kind of dragging it. Luckily I was close enough to someone's house and they was home. They let me use their garden hose and I was able to spray the bike off. Because otherwise, I'm not sure, I'm not sure my trip would have went any further. I couldn't pedal, there was too many rocks in my chain. I am on my way to Wolf City. I'm not sure I'm gonna get back on this trail anytime soon. On a dry day, I think most of what I've been through would have been fun. Some of these puddles are so deep on the trail that I'm, my shoes are in the water as I pedaled on the downstroke. And I ain't even sure what time it is. I think it's like three or four o'clock, I don't know. But I'm not even, I don't know, maybe 25% of the way done today. Anyways, follow along. Let's see if I make it to Paris. Paris, Texas. Roll stop. Just passed through Wolf City. I think that's what it's called, Wolf City. I didn't get any drone footage because it's starting to rain. I'm on Route 34. There was a ton of flooding last night. So I am going to go up a town or two and see what the trail looks like before uh, Paris past some of the area of the trail that I know are bad on a, dry, on a dry day. I wanted to stay on the trail, but it wasn't happening. At this point, I spent so much time trying to get through the trail that I'm not sure I'm gonna make it to Paris this evening or try to hide from the rain and stop earlier. We'll see, follow along. Like and subscribe if you haven't. See if I die out here.
I went through Lagonia and Pecan Gap on the road. On the other end of Lagonia, the trail still looks like it wasn't passable, even if it was dry. It looked like it had been bulldozed over. I'm headed to the town of Ben Franklin. From Ben Franklin, the trail's actually closed. There's a bridge that's out. So from Ben Franklin to Roxton, you're actually on the road anyways. From there, it's about 15 miles to Paris. I'm pretty set on making it to Paris. I have my headlight on me and my headlamp. So if I have to bike in the dark, that's what I'll do. On we go. Well, this is the trail just south of Roxton, 